John 11, 35, the Bible says, Jesus wept. That's the shortest verse in the Bible. Now, the Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that Jesus is God to their error. I believe Jesus Christ is God. And when I read such a simple verse as John 11, 35, Jesus wept, nine letters. And the usher date I have in my Bible is AD 33. And you got to be thinking, God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and about approximately 33 AD, and the Bible records that he wept, and he's at the funeral of Lazarus, who has died and been buried. And Jesus Christ, who is God, is looking at the people. And he's watching the people in sobering and sorrow and despair that their family, their friend, their co-worker, maybe their boss, Lazarus, is dying. He's in his tomb. He's not coming home. And the Bible records that Jesus wept and the Almighty God knew that he would say in verse 43, Lazarus, come forth. And I believe the next chapter, he will dine with Lazarus at the dinner table. And the remarkable shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus wept. And we don't realize that God Almighty wept at a funeral when he knew there was going to be a resurrection. <coughs> he knew it. But God, in the emotions, unlike a Greek or Roman God that had no feelings for the creation, When he saw the people and the love he had for Mary and Martha, the Bible records that God, Jesus, wept. Turn your pages back to Genesis. Adam, where art thou? Adam, did you eat of the fruit that I told you not to eat? Curse, curse, sorrow, sorrow. Wages of sin is death. Now Jesus Christ in a prescribed time will have to leave his throne and come and be born and suffer and die upon Calvary's cross according to the scriptures. Abel. Obeyed God, brought the right sacrifice. He is murdered by his brother. God says to, to Cain, your brother's blood cries out. I'm going somewhere. David, a lover of God. Abraham, a friend of God. Died. And nowhere until John 11.35 A.D. has the Bible record God cried. And God knew that Lazarus was going to come out of that grave. With great men, God calls forth. Abraham and David, Adam. Job, we don't read in the Old Testament anywhere, Jehovah wept. But in the pages of the Gospels, which the Gospels are not the New Testament until Jesus died, Hebrews, do we come across this statement that Jesus wept 
It was a friend of his. It was friends of Mary and Martha. And he's in this whole area. The people are, you know what happens at a funeral. And God Almighty standing there looking around. And now he has 100% God, 100% human. He has those emotions and those feelings that no other God, small G-O-D, has. <clears throat> There's a God in the, in the Old Testament, Molech, kill your children. Sacrifice your children. But here is God Almighty living and breathing on this planet. He's on his way to Calvary soon. And at a funeral that he will say, Lazarus, come forth and Lazarus will come forth. God, Jehovah, Jesus wept. It's a shame that people don't believe that Jesus is God. Because my God, my Savior, has feelings like I do. Now, there's another place where Jesus wept. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verse 41. And when he was come near, he beheld the city, Jerusalem, and wept over it. Again, this date says 33 AD. I'm not going to question the date. I don't know that much. But... Jesus Christ is looking at Jerusalem and he wept over Jerusalem because he knows that the, the inhabitants of Jerusalem are going to reject him. He knows very soon the inhabitants, the Jews, he came unto his own, his own received them not. Crucify him! Crucify him! Get rid of him! The one that, that healed the medically. The one that got rid of the devils. The one that gave sight to the blind. The ones that gave hearing to the deaf. That gave wholeness to the, to the lame. The one that came with the words of God honestly and truthfully without error, without deception. And Jesus, knowing all that is in the past, in the present, in the future, knows in 70 A.D., Titus is going to come and he's going to destroy Jerusalem. And that the Jews are going to reject as a nation in the book of Acts. And that individual Jews in the, tribute, in the church age will get saved, but not as a corporate nation. And that after the tribulation, I can't want to say tribulation. After the church age, when the church is raptured, there will be Jews and Greeks. That there will be a period of seven years of tribulation called Jacob's trouble. And it's kind of a butt beating for Israel's constant rejection of the word of God. And here Jesus wept over a nation, over a city that will reject him as he still will go to Calvary. And he will go to Calvary and he will suffer and die according to the scriptures. He will be buried and he'll resurrect out of that grave three days and three nights according to the scriptures and his own will still reject him. And he's standing there weeping over the city, over God's people, God's bride, that will ultimately continue to reject him and die and go to hell.